welcome to the Honeypot Mine in Lister and today we're going to be playing Purgatory. Purgatory. Uh, this game is a visual novel about passing time in the afterlife where nothing really matters. Um, it's a whimsical point and click game, it is on itch.io and all the information regarding the game is in the description below. Um, so let's just jump right in and see what this is all about. So, welcome, welcome, thank you. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, be a dear and fill out this form. Hmm, I don't remember how I got here. I'm sorry to hear that. I need you to sign on the dotted line here. The receptionist hands you a pen and a clipboard. Registration, please print heaven, purgatory, or hell. Uh, purgatory is spelt wrong. What if I don't sign, sign your name? Hmm, purgatory is spelt wrong. No, it's not. Well, see, there's two R's. There should only be one. Tell you what, my dear, you go and get a degree in demon resources management. Then you can come back and tell me how to do my job. You got a bit sass. Sheesh, never mind. Uh, let's just sign our name. You pick up the pen to write your name. Angelissa. Okay. Angelissa, wonderful. Let's get you filed away with the others. Quite concerned about where I'm being filed to, I'm not gonna lie. The receptionist takes your documents and opens a filing cabinet. Let's see, your number eight. Eight? Oh dear, that's over capacity. How small is purgatory? What's wrong? Just a clara clara, nothing to worry your little head about. Mm, okay. Right, you head on into the portal. I've got to take this to the man downstairs. Wait. But I have so many questions. All right, dear. I'll make time for one, then I really have to go. Uh, who am I? Where am I? Or who are you? Uh, where am I? The office sticks, of course. None of these answers are going to help. Office sticks? What happened to the river? Oh, we built a bridge over it. Then we built an office building on the bridge. Why would you build an office building on the bridge? The ferry was great for show, but the throughput was terrible. Take care now. The receptionist starts walking away. She's a turtle. She's got a turtle on her back. Turtle shell. She seems busy. She does seem busy. That is a really old computer, you're right. Picture frame. Obviously, the plant's obviously dead. Wonderful. Filing cabinet. I guess we'll just go into the portal then, shall we? You take a deep breath and step into the portal. Let's go then, shall we? Don't know where we're going, but only one way to find out. Welcome to Purgatory. Okay. Lucifer was here. I remember when we used to write that when I was a kid. Mel was here. Why do these feel like, look like they're half done? Commons or hell? We'll go to the commons. We obviously don't want to go to hell, do we? Oh, I don't know, though. This commons is starting to look a bit like hellish. Oh, who are you? Mm, hello. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm here. Yep. I'm Angelissa. What's your name? My name's Hyunsoon. Is everything okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> that cat noise. I'm sorry, that's just too exciting to do. An electric clock. Can I put the lamp on? It's a lamp. It is a lamp. You're right. Mm. Let me... <gasps> ringing 911. Ring, ring. 911, what's your emergency? Mm, hello. I'm stuck in purgatory. Sorry, you're stuck where now? Purgatory. With two R's. Are you reporting an emergency? Well, no, I guess not. Well, that's just rude, isn't it? Um, what's out there? Oh, that's the clamp. Right, we've been that way. The door is locked. Right, so we can't get out. I wonder where the key is. Okay, let's go try and find the key. What does that say? It says Purgatory Poetry Slam. Poetry Slam? Let's go. 
someone dropped a poem here. There are no toilets in purgatory by Sean the Snake. There are no toilets in purgatory. I've checked everywhere. I'm sugar-free. Not a urinal in sight, no surgery. Also turns out nothing really rhymes with purgatory. That was good effort. I'm not going to lie. It's better than what I could bloody do. Oh, hello. Who are you? Hello. Hello, you must be new. Yeah, I'm allow me to introduce myself. My name is Oliver and I'm the librarian here. Hey, I'm Angelissa. Purgatory is a librarian? Well, not officially, but this library was in such a state of disarray when I showed up, I just had to do something about it. What you see before you is the product of many hours of shelving and dusting. It is very cute. Thank you very much. Anyway, feel free to browse around. Just let me know if you find something you'd like to check out. Will do. Okay. You grab a book from the shelves. Just the word meow over again. Meow 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 meow. Oh, I forgot to mention, our collection's a bit mm, specialised. Maybe you should try a different book. Well, I would love to, but you're only giving me the meow meow one. See, they're all meow meows. Meow 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 meow. Stop giving me a meow book. Give me another one. Oh, let's go down here. Oh my god, how many books? Why are they all meow meow books? Meow 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 meow. Can I go up here? <clears throat> what have they done to this poor statue? Statue doesn't normally have cat ears on. Yeah, something looks a bit... Oh, he's got a tail and cat ears. What's that about? An infinity sign. Well, that's a little on the nose. Let's go with this. Seems to be jammed. Okay. Can we go upstairs? Ooh, hello. Table. These are full of meows too. Magnifying glass. Some lamps. Orbs are they? Yeah, they're orbs. We'll go with that. You gonna show me the notes or we're just gonna go for a wonder because you keep giving me meow books. I can't read in meow. I only read in English. Show the books like this? Yeah, I'm afraid so. At least as far as I know. I haven't catalogued the entire collection yet, so there could be some hidden gems in there. Hmm, <laughs> catalogue. Get it? Catalog. Meow meow. Yes, I am cataloging the library. Take a look. I hit 15,000 entries yesterday. 15,000 books that all say meow. Oliver shows you the catalog. By my estimate, that's about 2% of the books in the library. There's still a lot of work to be done. Wow. Yes. Wow, indeed. If you don't mind me asking, what are you looking for exactly? Well, you see, I like to imagine that there's a pattern, some sort of rhyme or reason, a scheme that explains what all this nonsense means. After all, even a code of one word is a code that can be broken. A language just begging to be understood. Hmm. Good luck with that. Well, I'll certainly need it. It sounds pretty silly when I say it out loud. Hmm, forget I said anything. Anyway, did you find anything you'd like to check out? <laughs> you. Ooh, ooh. Uh, this book. Can I check out this one? Oh, wonderful, let me just make a note in the catalogue. I'll admit... I didn't actually expect you to. Well, never mind that. Let me see. Where did I put my stamp? Okay, forget the stamp. I'll just write down the due date, which is... Well, we don't really have dates down here, do we? Mm -hmm. Just bring it back eventually, okay? Okay. Oliver writes due date eternity on a slip of paper and tucks it into the book. Sorry about all that. Enjoy your book. Thanks. Right, so we've collected a book. And we have to find a key to unlock the door. So if that is the library. A map. A chair. Can we go back? Let's go back one. Yeah, yeah. That's the door that's locked. Maybe if we go back to hell. Oof. Someone's been counting down the days here, aren't they? <gasps> How can they play knots and crosses and nobody win? Shocking behaviour. Ooh, got a bell. You should probably leave that alone for now, but I don't want to. Hmm, okay. There's got to be a key somewhere. So we can't go anywhere, so we can't go so we've got to go back to the library, we just have to. Have to go back to the library. So let's go forward. 
Oh, we found a snow globe. Let's go. Meow, meow. Right, let's look around and see if we find anything that remotely resembles E. God, watch it be in here somewhere. A lamp it is a lamp. You are correct. Is there anything there other than books that we can see? Let's have a look. No one mind if you took this ladder, right? Oh, now I've got a ladder. Snow globe with a pattern. Right. Hmm. It is my friend Joel's David. We have a snow globe. We have a ladder. I don't want a meow meow book. Meow 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 meow. Right, so that's the history of conversation. Um, I sort of forgot. A book. Don't want a meow meow book. I wonder if I can give the book or the snow globe to that man at the start. Angelissa? Oh, hey, Olivia. What's up? Not much. I was just wondering, you know. You know what? He gestures at you. Why are you carrying a ladder? Um, just thought it might come in handy. That's all. Sorry. Oh, I see. Do you want me to put it back? No, no, I suppose you can have it if you want. Alright, thanks. I don't know what we need a ladder for. Oh. That's just a... I like the joke. I like the joke. Right, can we give him something? When Yun Soon eyes your book as you approach, is that a book? Yep. Can I have some? Yeah, why not? Sure, here you go. Thanks. Yun Soon starts tearing out the pages with her teeth. <clears throat> with your teeth? Is that good? Eh, better than nothing. That's fair. Oliver never lets me have books, you know, even though he has like a million. <laughs> Pretty rude, huh? Eh, maybe he's but. It's a joke, Yun Soon. Get it? Yes. No one laughs at my joke. I thought hyenas were supposed to laugh. I thought jokes. Wow. Wow, Yunsu's got the sass. Ouch. You wanna join a snow globe? And lightning. Um well, I don't think we can go back. I don't... What did hell have in it again? There was nothing up here, was there? something in this library i'm missing something altogether here someone should fix the ceiling they should you're right there is rubble is there a key in this rubble no key in that rubble no go back in there when she's on the book how do you open this door how use the key well i know that but where's the bloody key what key the one that I have. I've had it all along. Can I have it? No. Why not? I ate it. Why are they eating the key? Mm. Like you actually ate it? Yeah. Why? I was hungry. Oh, well, how am I meant to get out the door now then? Are you enjoying that? It's alright. The most interesting thing I've done in a while. What about the poetry slam? Ah, no one showed up to that. Dang. Where were you? Here. Like across the room from the slam, just watching. Yep. Munchman. He's a bit of an odd duck, isn't he? Hmm. 
Ähm. Can we ring 911 now? 911, what's your emergency? Mm, hello, I'm stuck in purgatory. Sorry, you're stuck where? Purgatory with two R's. You can't report an emergency. Well, I guess not. Does no one want to speak to me? Why does no one want to talk to me? Oliver. Hello again. Sorry to pry, but where's the book you checked out of? I'll let Kinsley eat it. What? Oliver dashes outside. Oh, damn it. Right, we need to... Oh, shoot. Hey, on soon. Hi. What are you chewing on, if I may ask? Nothing. Nothing? You're clearly chewing on something. Hey, on soon swallows. I'm not. Would you mind opening your jacket? No. No, you wouldn't mind, or... No. Hey, on soon. I can clearly see the outline of a book under your jacket. Maybe I'm just happy to see you. That is true. Listen, you can't keep facing books like this. Destroying library property meant for everyone to use is just selfish. You would know about being selfish. God, I use you definitely on the side. What's that supposed to mean? Just saying. At least I don't value books over actual breathing people. That is a low blow, Kane. Yeah, well, you would know about low blows. Ah! Angelissa, do something. Talk to her. Maybe you should just let her eat it. You have like a million others anyway. What? I can't believe you're signing with her. You're the one who checks out this book. I'm sorry, I didn't think you would mind. It's just one book, right? To be fair, it's just one book. And you did say 2% of the library is 15,000 books. You have got a lot of books. Oliver takes a deep breath. You know what? I need to come out. I'm going to go. Just some shelves or something. Oliver's not. Oliver stomps into the library. Kainson quick quietly takes the book out the book and tears up another page with her teeth. I'm sorry about that. Not your fault. Okay. Kane soon reaches into a pocket and pulls out a key. Yes. Here. What's this? Opens the door. Nothing. Why did you say you ate it? Mm, you know, I thought things were more interesting if you stuck around. Oh. Oh, that's cute. Bless her. I'll come back, maybe. Cool. Where did this cat come from? Is it yours? I don't know. It's always been there, just standing still. It walks around sometimes. Hmm, does it have a name? Cat. The cat's name is Cat. Hmm, good name. You unlock the door. No need to hold on to this key. Oh, what's up here? Hey, there's something in here. Cool, a snow globe. I've got two snow globes. Left or right? Ooh, let's go left. A light bulb. It's dead, of course. Beautiful. Sock. Being in purgatory really sucks. It does really suck. Anyway. Ooh, we're in a room. A potted plant. Okay. Is that catnip? Catnip? Compost? Wires. Why are you even looking at the puns? The jokes in this are amazing. They're brilliant. Ooh, what are these? Despite being dead, this tree is bearing some sort of black fruit. Okay. Okay, dokie. Broken down shack. Okay. A doorway in the distance. Is that you, or is that tree more poorly drawn than others? <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. It says, please stay off the grass. Purgatory tree porous and reclawish. Okay, that's a bit... It, that is a bit of a stretch. That was a mouthful to say, I'm not going to lie. Looks like someone was playing horseshoe. Big old depth on the ground. You know? So there's milk coming from in there. Milk? How would anyone frame a picture of a check that's there? Here we go. Oh, oh, welcome. Welcome! Locked from the inside. Ring the doorbell? Yes! I want to know who's in here. Ding dong! A 
sleepy looking moth opens the door. Oh. Can I help you? Oh, hi. Um, is this your house? Sorry, I don't want any cookies. I want a cookie. I'm trying to watch my weight. Mm, what cookies? Mmm, cookies. You wave your hand in front of her eyes. She doesn't respond. Cool. All right, have a nice day. She was uh, a little bit faced out. Hello? No response. Well, that's just rude. Yeah, that. Let's go in the lift. You push the button, but the elevator doesn't move. Guess you're already on that floor. And there's no other floors. That elevate music. We love a bit of elevator music. Oh, who are you guys? Hello. Yo, we've got fresh meat. Um, hi. My name's Angelissa. Hi, Angelissa. I'm Sean. This is Elijah. Nice to meet you. That'll be Sean the Snake, whose poem read before. What's up, Ben? Mm, not much. I think I might be dead. Ah, uh, my condolences. My condolences. <laughs> Not sure if anyone's told you yet this food, but we're all dead. I think she knows that short. <laughs> that is true. Excuse me, not everyone's a smarty pants like you. Hey now, my pants are of total average intelligence. Oh, Angelissa, tell me. What's a cutie like you doing in purgatory like this? I want to know what I look like. <laughs> um, you know, like what got you sent down here? Everyone here's got a story. For example, Elijah's here for being too much of a smiley pants. Hey! Oh, um, I don't remember much about my past life. Knowing me, it was probably something like... Uh, what should we go with? And not, I do annoy people, so we'll go with annoying people to death. Oh, Sean does that too. You're already dead. How can I annoy you to death? You annoy me to, from, and during death. Maybe if you keep going, you'll annoy me back to life. How about you, Sean? Why are you here? Oh, me? Too much sex. Wow. Sean? I can't help it, dude. I'm a freaking stud magnet. You a snake. It would have been a crime to let all that booty go to waste. Wow. So I figured God sent me down here to repent. Among a bunch of food. What a cruel, cruel fate. Come on, man. Don't scare off the new person. Well, it's not like I've got anywhere else to go, is it? See? Loosen up, Elijah. Tell you what, Angelissa. You're going to love it here. We'll have a hell of a time. Twiddling our thumbs, watching paint dry. Dang, is that is it that boring? Get used to it after a while. We all got our own ways to pass the time. Me, I write poems. Hmm, she got new she gardens. I'm sure you'll find your thing to do too. I guess so. Welcome to purgatory anyway, for what it's worth. Yeah, dude. Welcome to purgatory. Thanks. What's my to do item? I don't have any to do item yet. Yeah, I busted the lamp a couple of weeks ago, so that's a good reason why indoor baseball's not a thing. Oh, it's pretty funny though, isn't it? Let's go this way, let's go in here. Discover the cat. An exhibit called Discover the Cat. Oh god, I hate spiders. Oh, there's not one. Someone dug up a floor tile, why? You're floored. <laughs> the puns and the jokes in this are funny. I like that. Still no one's... How's X1? Three, four, five, one, two. How did X win that? X did not win that. No, I do not believe that. I've got into the sign, the muse Meowseum is open every day except Muse Day. Muse Day? Is that going to be Tuesday, isn't it? The door is locked with a padlock. Of course, we should probably go and find a code. It's going to be on one of these sheets of papers. Oh, don't know what now? It's gonna be on one of these pieces of paper. This is a lot of paper, and I feel like down soon. Love it in here. Um, what does the word about the museum door? There's a padlock on the door. Oh, that would be Sean's fault. Oh yeah, that's from hide and seek. You padlocked the door while playing hide and seek? Yeah, I wanted to make the game a little spicier, you know. Right. Spicy. I mean, it worked. Yes, because you're locked to play in the museum. <laughs> That's called strategy, baby. Anyway, I wrote the code down on one of Elijah's old poems. Sean digs around in his pocket. Oh, shoot. What is it? 
It must have fallen out or something. It's gotta be lying around here somewhere. Maybe I dropped it in the park when I went for a walk. I'll take a look around. Good one. Appreciate it though. Hey Elijah, help me look around here. Why do I do cleaning up after your clever ideas? That's what friends are for, baby. These are funny. Right, in the park, maybe. We're looking for a piece of paper, maybe. Ooh. He was a proud father of 16 cats. 16 cats. Ooh. Died like she lived, unremarkable. <laughs> but he were a good parent, but a bad type rope walker. Zizi died like he lived. Zizi died like he lived, fighting crocodiles. Wow. Good riddance. The one that says, says be rats. Oh my god. What is going on with this game? Right. Um. That we've been in that doorway already. That's where Elijah and Sean are. So we're looking for things to do. Open the door to the museum. So we need to find this four digit code. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. You must be new. I am. Yeah. What are you up to? Well, you know, gardening. I guess that's kind of obvious. Sorry. It's okay. I'm Angelica. What's your name? It's Numa. It's cool that Purgatory has a garden. Yeah, I guess. What are you planning to do with those flowers? Mm, I don't know. Uh, you don't talk much, do you? Mm, mm, bye for now then, I guess. Enjoy gardening. Thanks. Enjoy whatever you're doing. Bye. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Whee, another joke. It's a well, it's also full of milk. Lovely. A flower. These flowers smell like fish. Like fish? That does not sound, smell great. Honestly. Right. Oh, what just that? What? What have I done? You freeze with your foot in the air. You almost stepped on a tulip. You know what? It's scrolls in here. I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> Oh, sorry. i sorry. I didn't mean to yell. What I meant was, please watch your step, if you don't mind. Okay. I'll try not to step on anything. Just stay on the path from now on. Okay. Thanks. God. Scared the life out of me. The sidewalk. Right. So we need to find this code. We've been in here. We've not been in here yet. Okay. It says, watch your paws. You watch your paws. Oh. oh, it's a big, that's a big rock. We don't want to go down there, do we? No sign at the bottom. No. That is where we will. Spence is not very sturdy. Yeah, it's not. Let's get out of there. We don't want to go there. More cave stuff, as always. Oh, it's got the life out of me, that then. Right, let's go to the right. That was the left. My pencil, the lead is broken. Is this the cat from the other room? I think it is. No, meow, meow. Yeah, no. Uh, it won't let me play anything but cat. I want to play the piano. Oh, I don't want to play if it's going to do that. It won't let me play anything other than cat. That, I'm sorry, is the worst piano ever. What's in the water? It looks like, looks like it's full of orange soda. Orange soda in a water cooler is not... Someone threw a poem in the trash can. Give, gimme, give gimme, give orange soda. Lukewarm and runny. Whenever I drink it, my stomach feels funny. It's fair. If orange soda is warm, then it will feel a bit, you know, funny. 
According to the calendar, it's Meowvember the 4th. Okay. Okay. Paper towel. A sink. A bucket. A scribble note says, not self, get more cables. We can get some more cables. Danger, risk of death. Yeah, that doesn't look safe. I'm not going to lie. Oh, a double A battery. This will come in handy. Right, so we need a battery for something because we picked that up. Soap. Towel. Wipes. Cleaning fluid. Bag of stinky fertilizer. Three gloves. We got the extra snow gloves. Right, okay. Let's go this way, shall we? Oh. A clock with no hands. Oh, maybe we need to find some clock hands. Oh, I brought us out there. And we went that way to get to it. We've done full circle. What's this way? Oh, that's in the door. Okay. We need to go back outside, I think. Yeah, because that's where Numa is in the garden. We still need to find this note. We've got four to be over. Right, okay, so this has got to be a note. Oh, bit of a hill, isn't it? <gasps> a crumpled up poem. Let's go. Purgatory is a maze and sometimes a haze, but at least here there are no Mondays. In the corner, in much messy handwriting, is the frayed passcode Ronnie Wood. Ronnie Wood. Ronnie Wood. What has that got to do with a four digit pastel? We don't want to go to the elevator. There's not going to be anything in there. Ronnie Wood. That's not going to work there, is it? Uh, I think I found the poem you guys you mentioned. Did you? All they said in the corner was Ronnie Wood. Yeah, that's it. I chose a number based on my favourite Ronnie, Ronnie Wood album. Really? What is it? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, of course. Really? How did I forget that? You never fail to impress me, Sean. Why? Thank you. One, two, three, four. One, two, bloody three, four. That's not a secure one, is it? I can't go to three, but four. The padlock opens. Yo, did you get the door open? Sean pays down the hallway. Yep, one, two, three, four. Finally. Can't believe I forgot that one. Sean, no offence, but you forget your own tail if it wasn't connected to your butt. Not true. I would keep it safe in my pocket. Would you keep it in your tail coat? Sure. Remind me why the museum's locked again? <laughs> I had lots of Natalie inside while we're playing hide and seek. Of course. You don't think she's still in there, do you? Natalie? Nah, she's a resourceful gal. I'm sure she found another way out. I reckon she's still in there. Probably. It might behoove of us to check. Just might. Absolutely. And in case anyone's wondering, I definitely know what that word means. Sean saunters into Meow CM. Elijah follows with an unapologetic shrug. Ooh. A jar for donations repurposed from a fishbowl. Guess they're fishing for money. The puns in this are brilliant. Mysteriously, there's a sock and a leaf inside. It's a cat. <coughs> Bless me. It's a cat standing on its hind legs. <laughs> How many pictures of this cat are there? I don't know. There's a lot. This cat size, Felis, Felis erectus, the ancestor of the modern human. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. It doesn't know you're right. It doesn't seem right. Oh, here's Elijah. Ah, the classics like Breath of Musty Museum Air. Are you an expert on the classic? <laughs> no. I mean, that's Starry Night. That's the screen, but with a cat face. I've definitely seen the Apple one before. Other than that, no idea. <laughs> They're fun surprise every now and then, though. Makes me feel like a fancy pants just looking at them. That's very true, Elijah. Very true. I think they're nice. I mean, if they're famous, it's probably for good reason, right? This pearl earring one's really pretty. Well, maybe they do something right up that ivory tower. Did you find Natalie anywhere, by the way? No, oh, I got distracted. I'm sure she'll turn up somewhere. <laughs> What does she look like anyway? I don't even know who we're looking for. Ah, she's got moth wings, wears a hoodie, about this tall, if you don't count the antennae. What if you do count the antennae? Ah, she shrugs and moves on to the thought. 
She's got some big old antenna. She's the one in the bloody house, isn't she? Up the stairs. <laughs> That'd be a magical string of cat goddess facet. Really? No. I just think it's yarn. Discover the cat and exhibit all about our close and feline fur friend. The rest of the sign is basically just cat fun. Discover the cat. I've discovered it all right. It's really loud and close. It's like I can rock on an El Capitan. Oh wow. That is a big cat. It is beautiful. And it's just named Cat. Clearly this painting was just too beautiful to be displayed outside. Obviously it's just a cat bum. Snow globe! What for? Four snow globes. Let's go. We don't need a popsicle stick. Box is full of dirt, standard, oh, cat litter. Oh, broken lot. As you reach the door, you hear a distant sound of something shattering. Sean! Shit! Oh, what's Sean done now? We need to find Sean. What's he done? Where's Sean and what has he done? Sean! Okay, I know what this looks like, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean it wasn't your fault? Okay, it's sort of my fault. But I barely touched it. Why were you touching it anyways? I want to know if it feels fluffy or not. I mean, that's fair. Does it? Of course not. It's made a fucking ceramic. I'd lapse in judgment. Elijah groans. Oh, man, if we're down here to the tomb for our sins, we really shouldn't be going around making trouble. There's the lamp and now this. Hey, it was an accident. Besides, I bet this cat was purposefully made super fragile so if a poor soul who touched it would break it. Like from Sean's board or something. In purgatory, really? I saw that on Reddit once. Listen, man, accidents happen to everyone. That's just how life is. But would it hurt you to be a little bit more careful? Yeah, Elijah's right. I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Well, Sammy to tell, I guess. I'm clumsy, so sue me. I used to break plates and shit all around the house. Elijah rubs his head. You must have been a handful for Danny. Hey! Leave Danny out of this. Whoa, whoa, I'm just teasing. Just teasing. You know it's a touchy topic. Sorry, man. I was just trying to lighten the mood. Oh, Whatever. I think I'm going to peace out for a bit. Hey, you don't have to. I mean, Natalie's obviously not here anyway. What are we even doing in here? Sean Lee's tossing his hands up. As someone who specialises in words, you think I'd have learned to watch what comes out of my mouth. It's all right. I'll go get the broom. Elijah walks off. Oh. I can't believe he broke it. Oh, we're just going around in circles now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Right, that's the staff room. Why is there a door drawn on the wall? Caution. It just says caution. Table with seven circular indentations. Where are we going? I don't know. A garden gnome, you feel like this is a reference to something, but you're only half sure. I feel like it's a reference to you, but I don't. Mm, lots of big containers. They are. And a box. Some sort of cube. I'm going to assume a box. Oh. Angelissa, I've been expecting you. Have you? How did you know my name? Simple, it says it right there on the screen. Silly me. You look at the arrival screen where your name is listed. Oh, weird. Yes, your name has been there for over a week. But as usual, no one seems to notice but me. So to be fair, I was expecting to show up in a train. Anyway, my name's Tori. Entrepreneur, Black Bell and Deceased Soul. You don't mind, I have some questions for you. Oh. Okay, I guess. One, who are you and what is your purpose here? I woke up in an office with an old lady who said I was going to purgatory. Then I went through a portal and ended up here. Hmm, that checks out. Two, what would you say was your greatest sin? Hmm, don't really remember. Really? Yeah, I woke up without any memories at all. Sorry. Hmm, I suppose people have reported memory loss before. Sorry, flips through a few clipboard. Well, that answers most of the rest of my questions. One last question, what do you think that means? She points at the departure screen which says, Heaven delayed. It means they'll let us out soon. It means we're stuck here. It's just a joke. May stuck here? Maybe it means we'll be stuck here for a while. A realist, huh? I'm the same. 
Regardless, I'm not interested in standing around and waiting for celestial beings to have mercy on me. I'm trying to break out of here, and I think that sign means I'm close. Can I count on your help, newbie? Of course. So great is range. Sure. That's the spirit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some work to attend to. I think it's time to dig up some clues. Ooh, Tori's on a clue hunt. Stay frosty, Angelissa. See ya. Right. So it says, having delayed under arrival, it says Angelissa arrived. I did arrive. That's me. A vending machine. They do. I'm not going to lie. They're a fair bit in purgatory. It says, noticed. Authorised workers only in the warehouse, please. In small text, it says, Beware of hazardous materials and heavy machinery. Purgatory claims no liability in the case of death or dismemberment. I'm already dead. Matter. Small containers. Small containers. Oh. Is that cat again? It won't budge. No keyhole either. Hmm. That freaking cat. It's everywhere. Someone really went to town on these pillows. They really did. Live, laugh, meow. Right, that's not that door. Go down or left? Let's go left. Oh, another snow globe. I oh, five snow globes. No, instead of a mattress, this bed just has a cat bed on top of it. That is a little bit weird. Oh. Oh, we're in Natalie's room. It's the Mona Lisa with a cat face. Let's go. Natalie! Hello! Mm -hmm. Hey! Who are you? I'm new here. Hi, new here. I'm Natalie. Nice one. Thanks, I'll be here all eternity. But really, what's your name? I told you what my name is. It's Angelissa. Cool. Nice to meet you. I'm guessing you don't remember the cookies thing? What cookies thing? Earlier, I rang the doorbell. You showed up. You said you didn't want any cookies, then left. I did? Oh my god, I must be sleepwalking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just having a great dream about cookies. It's okay. It was funny. Still, sheesh. What a way to make a first impression. It's all good, really. So how long have you been here? Oh, it's been a while. I still have the books I checked out from Oliver when I arrived. They're probably overdue by years. Oh yeah, he convinced me to borrow a book too. You too? That boy never changes. I should really return those books, come to think of it. Want me to take them from you? I'm probably heading down there anyway. Oh heck, that'd be awesome, thanks. I'm glad I'm not alone in this endeavour. Don't worry, I'll make sure the I make sure to book it to the library. I'm sure Oliver will be elated to have them back. I heard the library's good for circulation. All these puns are brilliant. I think they're covered in that that in the newspaper. Newspaper? More like newspaper. Okay, that one's up. Hey, they can't all be winners. Here's the books anyway. Tell Oliver Oliver, I thought they were good. Weren't you just using them to hold up a table? Well, maybe. But he doesn't need to know that. That's fair. That is fair. I call this Starry Night. Isn't there already a piece of art called that? No, I don't think so. To do. Return the books to Oliver. Sorted. We can do that. Um, if we can find our way out of here. Because there's, uh, there's all sorts everywhere, isn't there? A bar of soap. A picture of a flower. Um kitchen and they've obviously pushed a glass off the counter is that all the clock does she just live off top all oh, right that's the door need to go down the stairs oh no um oh god right oh what are you digging tori angel this is just the person i wanted to see wow are you trying to dig out of purgatory what do you think i'm doing digging a little tree but it's going further down really going to help us worth a shot you know what they say what goes down must come up i don't think they say that nonsense want to grab a shovel maybe later we've got to deliver some books back to oliver first do it yourself i need to find my way out to deliver books to oliver because this is that not that way she shouts at me We're navigating. We're remembering. Hi, Angelissa. Hi, Oliver. I'm really sorry about earlier with the book. I should have realised that. No, no, it's all right. I overreacted. It's just one book after all. As much as it rubs me up the wrong way to see a book treated like that, I can't fault you for what you did. Still, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. 
It's all right. If anything, Kang Young Soon's the one at fault here. Hmm, maybe. She seemed to touch on some uh, touchy subjects during the argument. Oh, it's nothing serious. Kang Soon knows that mentioning my early earthly regrets is a way to push my buttons. The way she talks, you think I'd murdered somebody. And did you? What? No, of course not. I can't see you doing that, to be honest. Well, thank you. At least someone in purgatory has some sense. But if you didn't murder anyone, what are your earthly regrets? Hmm, maybe we can discuss it some other time. I think they might have murdered someone now. Sorry, I didn't mean to cry. It's fine. Hi again. Return Natalie's book. Natalie asked me to return these books to you. Hmm? Oh, well, thank you very much. I'll check these in right away. You're welcome. Goodness, I almost forgot about these. Do you think she enjoyed them? Um, I think she liked them. Oh, good. She must have really been taking her time with them, huh? Yeah. You know, there's a surprise amount of nuance if you read between the lines. Soldier riffles through one of Natalie's books and a few paper falls out. Whoops! Is this yours? No, maybe it's Natalie's. Oh, I'll trust you to hold on to it then. Probably just a bookmark or something. Anyway, I better get these back on the shelf for future patrons. Until next time, see ya! Right, Um, I think I need to take maybe... What is this? It's a business card for Lucifer. Senior Soul Accommodation Manager. He's a hell of a guy. 555 five, five. Lucifer. Right. Let's go and use the phone and see if we can ring 555. Five, five. Yum, yum, yum. Items. What's my phone number on that? It said 555 Lucifer. L U C I F U R. L U C I F U R. Got it. Got it. Hey, Valued Sinner, you've reached the Office of the Devil for inquiries about redeeming Lost Souls. Press 1. For ferry and services, press 2. To speak to the Devil, press 3. Let's speak to him. Your finger hovers over the 3 button. You have a feeling there's no going back after this action. Press it? Yeah. <laughs> the Devil is busy right now. Please hold until the next availability. Remember, your salvation is our greatest priority. Hold music starts playing. What are you doing? Just calling someone. Who? The devil, I think. Do you think that's actually going to work? I don't know. Worth a shot, I guess. That's very true. We're always worth a shot. Great news, you're next in the queue. The devil will be with you shortly. Thank you. Oh, for crying out. Bam! Did someone call? Huh? What did you think? That was a pretty good entrance or what? Who the hell are you? I'm Lucifer. Duh. Of Beasley. The deceiver of the world. The angel of abyss. What did you do to the cat? I didn't do anything to the cat, you ninny. I am the cat. And I was having a perfectly balming time too until someone very rudely called my number. You were here the whole time? And you didn't say anything? Uh, sorry, I was busy being cute and offering emotional companionship. Jeez, no appreciation for my hard work around here. I am soon. I like that car. Anyway, let's get down to business. This place is all capacity, so I need to get around to fixing that anyway. Lucifer snaps his fingers. Oh, shoot, it's brought everyone here. So that's why she never put soap in your... Huh? What just happened? Excuse me, who are you and what the hell's going on? Lucifer, hang on, hang on. I know you're all feeling... A bit stressed, but there's no need to throw a hissy fit. I'm Lucifer, ruler of hell, and I'm here with fortunate news. Oh, news. At least one of you is getting me out of this place forever. I wish I could purr. I wish I could probably purr. Any questions? I don't think I like puns anymore. Wait, if you're really here to let us go, then I certainly won't be the first to be playing. But why now after all this time? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. The maximum occupancy of this place is seven, and Angel Lisa here makes it eight. Really? That's it. Yeah. Meow Nidrant really relies, really gets in our case if we go over. Plus, I wanted to see the look on your face when I went poof out of nowhere. That's fair. That did make me feel. 
I have a question. You said at least one of us will leave, but how will you decide which one? Well, it's simple. I'll evaluate you your souls and decide which one of you is worthy of ascending to heaven. The room is silent for a moment. <sighs> Guess I'm out then. Have fun in heaven, guys. Fair as thought for poor old Sean every now and then. Wait, 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 wait. So you're just going to leave the rest of us here to rot? Yep. It's a real win-lose situation. Pardon? Some of you will win, some of you will lose. Win-lose. It's business talk. Probably won't affect it. Um, but we've been waiting for so long. You can't just leave us here forever. Sure I can. I'm evil. I can do whatever I want. Wham bam. Did he come? Just turn that lamp into a frog. That's evil as fuck. It's really not. Anyway, let's get on with this already. I'll call you into my library one by one and we can have a little chat. In the meanwhile, the rest of you can wait here. Sound good? Wait, sorry? Did you say your library? I thought it was my... I mean, not to be presumptuous, but I've been doing a lot of work. It just seemed the library wasn't being properly maintained, so I... Well, that is given the state of disrepair. Oh, you cute little thing. It's fine. Elijah, you're first up, big boy. Huh? Why me? First to arrive, first to leave. It's only fair. Don't be scared. I don't nip. Well, all right. Elijah nervously follows Lucifer into the library. I did so much dusting. Why is it? I am bored of waiting. You should probably stay here, like Lucifer said. But I'm bored. Sorry. Hey, Angelissa. Great timing. I just finished drawing up the battle plans. The battle plans? Yeah. Care to elaborate? No time. Hey, folks. We have to, need to have a meeting. Get over here. Oh, boy. Here we go again. This is important. What is it, boss? What is it? But our very fate's hanging in balance. Our fleet and afterlife dangling over a pit of despair. Sorry, boss. Still confused. What I'm saying is we can't just let Lucifer walk all over us. More than ever, we need a plan. There's eight of us and one of him. If we work together, we can take him on. Now, are you a mouse or a man? Um. <laughs> well, let's just jump him. I'm in. I'll hold his scrawny little arms behind his back while you punch him. Deal. Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't he have magic powers or something? He can just turn into a cat. And what if he just wriggles out of our grasp? Oh, I don't think I could hurt a cat. Plus, I'm allergic. At least for folks that out of the library. Hello, children. Just a friendly reminder that fomenting revolution is strictly against company policy and can get you in a very long stint into the fourth circle of hell. What does the fourth circle look like? The better question is, what does it smell like? Oh, God, yeah, we all want that. Not so eager now, huh? Now, where was I? Well, meeting adjourned. Yeah, I suppose. Didn't even get to use the diagrams. Maybe you should go along with what he says for now. I don't want to be turned into a frog or anything. The concern is duly noted. Hey, Clayton, do you think you'll get out? Eh, I don't know either. Lucifer escorts Elijah outside. Mothballs, you're up next. Oh, that's me. Oh, poor Natalie. Awesome, so Lucy boy, before we get started, first of all, it's not Lucy boy, it's Lucifer. Okay, Lucifer. That's Mr. Lucifer to you. Oh, God. Okay, Mr. Lucifer, I just wanted to ask, why am I down here in the first place? I'm afraid it's confidential, my girl. Oh, man. Is it because I'm left-handed? What? Why does that have to do with anything? They used to beat you for being left-handed because they thought it was satanic, you know? Really? Hey, don't look at me like that. I don't have any control of what people do in my name. Besides, I'm capidextrous. Come on now, we have work to do. Lucifer disappears into the library and Natalie's really behind. I don't like Lucifer very much. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk, right? Can you believe he called me cute little thing? Ah, oh, you are, though. It is cute. Alright, that's not the point, and you know it. She's right. Ah! Hey, Numa. Oh, hello. What a funny situation we're in, huh? It's so funny. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be fine? I'm just the teeniest bit anxious. I don't know why. It's not that big of a deal. Just like a job interview, except it's like I forgot to prepare for it. And also, if I don't pass, then I'll burn in hell. <laughs> it's okay, I promise. You're so nice, there's no way you won't go to heaven. Oh, I don't know. What about all my pet that fish that died? What about that time I pretended to have a broken leg so I had to go to my friend Kate's birthday party? And that time I was really mad at a guy who was trying to hit on me on the mall and I waxed him with a tray. The time you did what now? Ah, oh, forget I said anything. Lucifer's voice burns out as Natalie leaves the library. Oliver, get in here! It's time for a little cat and mouse game, if you know what I mean. Oh. Alright, here goes nothing. You've got this. Thanks, I hope I do. No big deal, just the most important interview of my life. Or death. Yes, or death. What's taking so long? Get in here, mousy boy. Come in! 
what did Lucifer ask you about? He just asked me some question about my life. I thought it would be something like, how many acts of kindness did you do? But no. Nah. He asked me what my favourite kind of cereal. Huh? Ah, what's your favourite kind of cereal? Honey Bunch Oats, of course. Maybe he's planning a surprise cereal party. Where he makes everyone their favourite cereal to make up being stuck here so long. Mm, doubt that. Honestly, it might be worth for, for a nice bowl of Lucky Charms. Absolutely love Lucky Charms. Oh god, with lots of marshmallows. Are you kidding? Marshmallows only. Yes! Marshmallow gang! Hmm, marshmallow gang. Sean dabs. Dab. I'm not a dab. Who else has been in there? Not with me. So listen, I've been working on a theory, and this might sound crazy, but what if Herbert is cat heaven? You mean like heaven for cat? Yeah, like cat heaven. Hmm. I'll have to explain all the catnip and milk and stuff. And the cat bed, but if Herb Tree's cat heaven, then where are all the cats? Hmm, that's a good point. And why do you put people in it? Why not build a separate purgatory for people? A person tree, if you will. Or a person story. Yes, do you need something? Oh, sorry, me and Angelus were just discussing the nature of purgatory. Person tree, you mean? Maybe the real purgatory is the friends we made along the way. It's so sweet. Wait, Oliver screws out the library, loose the sticks, and head out the door. Hey, so I'll see you soon. See what I did there? No. What do you mean, no? I didn't see what you did. Could you do it again? Hey, soon I'll see you soon. It's a play on words. Sorry, I don't... Get in the library, asshole. Wow, Lucifer is very rude. Who soon goes in with the no without another word? Right, where's Oliver? Gosh, wait a minute, this so antsy. Aren't you antsy, I mean? I mean, yeah, a little. There's a lot on the line. Don't remind me. Do you want to do something to set your mind up here? Like play a game, maybe? Sounds good. Well, I suppose we could play tic tac toe. Sure. Who should go first? Uh, here, I have a coin. I'll flip for you. Thank you. Heads or tails? Heads. All right. By Lucifer's butthole. Are you kidding me? It landed on its edge. Let's call it a tie. Yeah, that seems fair. Well, that doesn't help when you're doing heads or tails, does it? Do you think Lisa will pick you to leave? Oh, uh, probably not if I'm gonna be honest. Me neither. I don't know, bro. I'm just a snurson. A what? A snurson? Trying to live his best life. Sean, you always say that when you're avoiding a question. Me, snavoiding a snestion? I would never. Oh, I get it now. Like a snake person. What's this? The doors open, closing leaves the library. Numa Numa, it's your time to shine. Oh my god, I didn't realise it was my turn next. Ah, what do I do? What do I do? Chill out, it'll be okay. It's not okay. It's got, I'm going to ruin everything like I always do. Except this time my life is on the line. Numa, I know you're a little slow, but we don't have all day. Get it? Because you're a snail. Numa takes a deep breath and runs through the doors. Ah! We went in pain too. This whole delivering judgement thing doesn't seem to be worrying you much. Eh? What am I supposed to do about it? I guess that's true. But you're not nervous or anything? I'm actually a robot. I don't feel emotions. Oh. Can you prove it? Nope. Why not? Out of robot juice. That's fair. You mean electricity? Nope. Juice. Ah. Sure. Angel also watch out. Ah! What is it? Nothing. He's keeping you on your toes. It's crucial that we stay alert right now. Anything could happen and we need to be prepared. Oh. Okay. Hey, Tori, sorry to interrupt, but I was wondering. Oliver, behind you! Ah, what? Hit the deck, kid! It could happen at any moment! Ah, okay. The door bursts open and Numa runs out. Alright, Featherweight, you're up. Uh -huh. Tori steps up to Lucifer and holds out her hand. Sorry, Peck. Pleasure to meet you. Yes, I know your name. Just because I called you Featherweight doesn't mean I forgot. You had not have quick quit. I can appreciate that. I'm looking forward to reaching a mutually beneficial agreement with you. Lucifer reluctantly shakes Tori's hand. Jeez, suddenly I feel underdressed. Just get in here already. With pleasure. Who went in there then? Numa. Good job making it through the interview. Oh, I barely did. I felt like I was about to break down at any moment. I'm sorry. And he, and, and, and he acted like it was funny the whole time. I didn't want to say this, but I think Lucifer is a very rude person. There, I said it. Yeah, he is. And he made some extremely questionable architectural decisions when he designed this place. True. It's not even wheelchair accessible. And, and... And his trident looks really dumb. Yeah. Phew. I feel a little better now that's off my chest. <clears throat> Sorry for dumping all that on you. It's okay. 
You know, I never did find out what Undontophorus means. Undontophorus? You mean relating to the projection in the mouth of snails or other mollusks that support the radula? Hmm, is that what it means? I never knew thought everyone knew that. Wait, what's a radula? Oh, you mean tiny teeth for snails? They're using to scrape food off surfaces. That's freaky. No, it's not. It is a little freaky. Sorry, match that library looking, please. Okay, Sean, you're up. All right, let's do this, Lucy boy. Again, do not call me Lucy boy. Okay, we'll save the pet names when we know each other a little better. What? Uh, you? I'm, I'm sorry. Sean, are you flirting with the literal devil? Hey, all I'm saying is, I've always wondered why hell is hot and now I understand why. Just hurry up and get in here. We have a lot to discuss in private. Don't mind if I do. Do you think the bees eat their own honey? Uh, no. Why would they make honey and then just eat it? What else would they use it for? Mm, building beehives? No, no, you have it all wrong. That's what beeswax is for. Yeah. Wait, so bees make both honey and wax? Yeah, I guess. That's... Then what is nectar? Oh, jeez, I don't know. Mm, hi, Numa. Hello. Sorry for putting in. I couldn't help over here. Are you talking about bees? Hell yeah. Hit us with bug fact names. I know you have a ton of them. Get this. Bees have such a good sense of smell. They've been trained to sniff out hidden landmines in Croatia. Wow. Bee fact. I have my plan all figured out. Oh, yeah, things lock up for old Tory vet. Do you know what it is? Sure. I'm going to make Lucifer a proposal. I'm the ideal business partner, profit minded, efficient, thorough, and my worst trait, being a perfectionist. In fact, I already have a few ideas to make Hell into a nice, in Hell Inc. a nice book. Parts from sitting around in purgatory, buy our fresh Lucifer brand orange soda. Tired of working off your sins? Pay a small premium fee to get into the purgatory fast lane. Uh, that sounds evil. I mean, trying to profit off people waiting in purgatory is kind of evil. Exactly. This will eat it up. No, like, evil is in, like, you really shouldn't do that. Besides, no one in purgatory has money in the first place. Hmm, that's a good point. Now let's call it a work in progress. Sean sounds out the library shrugging his jacket on. Lisa for yells from inside. All right, all right, last but not least, Angelissa. Okay, coming. You enter the library and find Lucifer sitting at a table. Well, well, well. Look who the cat dragged in. Mm, you caught me in here. Yes, I am the cat in this scenario and you are the one that I dragged in. You try to keep up, would you? Lucifer pulls a folder out of nowhere. <laughs> well, let's take a look at your file. Do you want to start with the good news or the bad news? Bad news. Let's see. Lucifer, sh Lucifer shuffles through the papers. Littering. What? When? Tuesday, June 13th, 2017. Ah, yeah, I'm not good on your record at all. Belsy Bub's gonna have a field day with this one. Wait, really? Is littering that bad? Nah, no, I'm just messing with you. I crack myself up sometimes. This is a special kind of guy. Can I look at it? Oh, you wouldn't want to see it. Lots of, lots of legalese. I suppose I could walk you through, but that's way above my pay grade. Above your pay grade? Aren't you supposed to be the ruler of hell or something? Hey, who's the one interviewing who here? Lucifer snaps the folder shut. Listen, bud, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're probably not getting out of here. Oh, why not? I'm well, sorry to break it to you, but you're still a kitten. Oh, am I a kitty? A neophyte, a blank slate, wet behind the ears, fresh out the oven, you're getting my drift? You need to do your due time in purgatory before I can even consider moving you on. Ah, oh, I see. Is there anything I can do to change your mind, or...? Oh bless your whiskers! Didn't your memories get? Didn't your memories get knocked out your silly little head on the way here? How are you supposed to move on with your afterlife when you can't even remember your before life? Mm, no one can do. Wait, I can remember some of it. Oh really? Mhm. Mm yeah, maybe. If I think really hard, we'll spit it out already. What can you tell me about your life? Let me think. Um. Well, cat got your tongue. It's just nothing's coming to mind right now. Oh, wonderful. You've done wasting my time then. She's sorry. Yeah, I think we're done here. Let me just grab my stuff and we can... Wait, 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 wait. There's one question I've been dying to ask. Well, what is it? Why is there not a down escalator? What's this? <clears throat> Why is there a train track with no train? Well, that's simple. I didn't want your conversation to be derailed. Lucifer claps his hands and the papers all disappear. Scurry long now, it's big time for the big announcement. Oh, this is always the most exciting part. You let yourself be herded back into the commons. The conversation dies as soon as you emerge. 
Comms and queens, friends and foes, the interviews are over. Finally, we've reached the denouement of your journey. The apogee, the final frontier. It's my utmost pleasure to deliver my verdict, my mule de grace, my magnum opus, my... Oh my god, get on with it. No appreciation for dramatic effects around here. But fine, I'll get on with it. Without further ado, your newest denizens of heaven is... Oh shoot, she was untied. When did that happen? Hey, you're doing that on purpose. Doing what on purpose? That! Do your worst, Lucifer. We've waited for years. We can wait a few minutes more. Yeah, what he said. Oh, fine. I'll stop throwing it out. It's no fun when you'll start getting valiant about it. <clears throat> I'm proud to announce your new denizens of heaven. No one. What? What do you mean, no one? I mean, you're all such a lackluster group of beanbags. As it turns out, not a single one of you deserves to go to heaven. What? That's ridiculous. What about me? What did I do? Was it time I ran over the old lady on my bike? Sorry, the time you did what now? Um, nothing? Lucifer, surely you're mistaken. Most of these people don't have a malicious bone in their body. Results are results, my dear girl. Look on the bright side. Maybe you can try again in a few centuries. Centuries? Lucifer, all due respect, don't you think that's a little... What I think you're forgetting is who the Prince of Hell is here. You should be grateful that you ended up here and not somewhere much, much worse. I mean, you don't think you're the only eight souls in the afterlife, do you? Consider yourself lucky that your greatest grievance is a shortage of orange soda. Well, if that's settled, then I have another announcement to make. Whether you deserve to rot here forever or not, I can't leave this facility over capacity. So I'll be choosing one of you at random to go to heaven. Ah, so in the end, it's a coin flip that will decide our fate. Well, not exactly more of a D8 roll. Lucifer snaps an eight-sided dice appears in his hands. Your names are printed on the side. Sinners, if you believe in benevolent forces, pray to them now. Because not even God can bend the whims of random chance. When this dice finished tumbling, one of you shall be delivered unto heaven above, and the rest of you... You mean die? Sorry. Uh, dice is the plural. I think what you meant is when this die finishes tumbling. Sorry. Oh, god damn it. I always got those mixed up. You said die is the plural one. Mm, dice. Right, right. One die, two dice. Anyway, I'm going to roll it now. Lisa throws a die which rolls under a chair. Hold on. Lisa crouches and sticks his arm under the chair. Ah, there's cat hair all over it. That one's my bad, guys. Next time I'll install a vacuum cleaner. Where is this goddamn dice? Die. What? Well, that's just uncalled for. No, I mean, I think it's see it over on the map. Oh, thank you. Um, so the one going to heaven is Angelissa. Oh, no. I don't want to. I don't want to leave my new friends. Wait, me? Wait, me? No, the other Angela said. Yes, you. What? But she just got here. Well, isn't she just a lucky little bugger? That's bullshit. Let's go. Let Elijah go. He's been here the longest. Well, hold on now. Leave Angela alone. She didn't ask for this. Yet yeah, newsflash, none of us asked for this. Children, children, you heard what I said. Not even God can bend the winds of yada yada yada. Get yourself over and follow me to the antechamber. Lucifer marched down the corridor, mutually the others trickle after him. Eventually, he stopped in the room where you started. And here we are. Whoa, a portal. There'll be plenty of paperwork and red tape in due time, but for now, all I have to do is step through. After that, you are no longer my property. Is that really it? I'll just step through and I'll be in heaven. Radio. Whenever you're ready. You nervously step up to the portal. Oh, uh, well. Goodbye, everyone, I guess. Bye. Take care. See ya. Thanks for being so welcoming. I don't really want to go through on your own. You step into the portal. I'm too nervous. I'm too scared. Why would Lucifer send me to heaven? I came by Niv. That was lovely. That was a really, really nice visual novel. And it was an absolute pleasure to play. The puns in that were second to none. They were amazing. Um, all the information for that game will be below in the description. Um, make sure you go and check it out. See if uh, any of your choices can make changes in the game. Who knows? Would you be the one going to heaven if it was you? Or would you be stuck in purgatory with everybody else? Anyway, thank you for checking this video out. If you made it to the end, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more indie content. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for being here and bye-bye for now.